In this video, we're going to discuss how to handle cannabis impairment and accommodations in the workplace. As medicinal cannabis use and recreational cannabis use have become more and more commonplace, it's important for employers to understand how to address those issues when they arise in their workplace. Navigating impairment can be very difficult, particularly because we don't have any tests to help us understand the recency of use. So what we want to do is focus on performance. We want to think about, has this person's performance changed? Is their productivity decreased? And are they exhibiting unsafe behavior in the workplace? Are they slurring their words? This might be an indication of impairment. You do, in many instances, have the right to test if someone presents as impaired, but you want to make sure that you're clear about the testing requirements in your jurisdiction, as many jurisdictions do have limitations to testing um, while impaired during the workday. You want to also make sure that you're training your supervisors on how to observe impairment, to understand the policies, as well as what to do should they encounter someone that is impaired. Additionally, it's important to understand that there may be individuals that are using medicinal cannabis, which has a different set of requirements. While unsafe behavior and impairment is not acceptable under any circumstances, it is important to understand the rights of those that are using medicinal cannabis. By creating a balanced approach to cannabis in the workplace, it creates safety and dignity for everyone. So it's important for you as a leader to understand and respect those rights.